Hey guys! Hey there! I'm Amanda. And I'm Ashley. And today we are at the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Studios ready to <laughs> promote and share with you our brand new 2020 Stitch Along. It's happening! It's happening! It's coming out on November... 29th? 29th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. That is Black Friday. <laughs> and... I'm so excited. Me too. Okay, without further ado, I'm super pleased to share with you the theme, Animal Almanac. Woohoo! Okay, so what is Animal Almanac? I will read it to you from our very handy Welcome Friends page. Animal Almanac features a group of 12 animals, all friends who live in the same area, Maybe the neighboring community of Gordville. I like that. <laughs> next to Pumpkinville. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they are just enjoying each month to the fullest. They love to do seasonal things like take walks in the rain, plant their garden, have backyard barbecues, bake cookies for friends, and so much more. Well, this is adorable. Yeah, <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah, they're keeping busy. <laughs> they are keeping so busy. Did we mention they are all wearing seriously cute little outfits? And hats. And hats. Yep. So if you watched our previous video where we chatted about all of our brand new Christmas patterns, you know that we got a comment on Instagram from Lisa Berg at N-I-M-U-N-N-E who said, we need a whole sal of animals in clothes. I screenshot that so fast and I sent it to Ashley and I was like, look! <laughs> She knows. Yes, she was on to something. <laughs> she was on to mm -hmm. it. She knew what we were doing. So, Lisa, mm -hmm. thanks. Good job. <laughs> Good job. And to tie it all together, we've designed a fun border that is easy to stitch, mm -hmm. i.e. it is not lace. No, not this year. Not this year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and let's see. And, oh, the monthly charts do have a lot of sweet and small details. True. Mm -hmm. Yes. So take your time and enjoy the process. When you finish stitching, we will have a really, or you will have a really adorable undated hanging wall calendar. We will be sending you a finishing tutorial and video in January 2021. That's crazy to say. <laughs> January 2021 20, seems like a thousand years mm -hmm. from, from now. So one of our inspirations was... The little vintage tea towels. Um, I got this from, uh, I got this in 2016 at Stitches. But, oh. yeah, I, I love these tea towels. And my friend Sue, she goes to thrift stores and she always finds really great ones from, like, the 70s and 80s. And it's so nice to just have that cute little calendar hanging mm -hmm. in your kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, I like yeah. that a lot. So we just are finishing up Pumpkinville. And Pumpkinville is the fictional town. Pumpkinville. Okay. Oh, and yeah. we have a lot of people in Pumpkinville. We thought we would kind of do a, how did you describe it earlier? A best of? The best of. Since this will be our 10th year long uh, sampler, we thought we'd pull from a couple of our previous patterns and do the best of for our 10th year. The best of. Mm -hmm. So what is the best of? The best of would be animals from Into the Jungle mm -hmm. and Woodland Sampler. Yeah. The shape each block is a circle, and that's kind of inspired by the round frames, in, or I'm sorry, they're ovals in story time. In story time, yeah. And some of the elements of story time within the frames, too, are, are contribute to this mm -hmm. pattern. The blocks have a lot of details, uh, very similar to Welcome to Pumpkinville mm -hmm. and, I would say, Passport Pumpkin. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. Passport Pumpkin had a lot of really great layered. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yes, and this yes. one has a lot of layers, a lot of small little details going on. Mm -hmm. That's going to be awesome. So in a minute, I'm going to clip to a video, and I'm going to be sharing with you what to expect and how the PDF looks. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. Okay. Hi again. So here I am, and I have a copy of Animal Almanac. And this is what we refer to as the introductory PDF. And what that means is when you purchase Animal Almanac between Black Friday 2019 and January 1st 2020, you will receive this copy. And what we do is each month the PDF changes. I'll get to a little bit more on that in just a second. 
So for the introductory PDF, what we have is we have the cute cover that Ashley designs. Obviously, it's an almanac. And then we have our welcome page. And this welcome page explains the goings on of the club, what inspired us, how we are going to be setting up the pattern, the official hashtag for the pattern, and a little bit of a note um, about one of the colors that we use in the chart. And this is just what we like to give everybody, just a little way to say hello and explain what's going on with the pattern. Okay, the next page is how to receive your patterns and when you're going to receive them. So the most popular question that gets asked in our Facebook group or in an email to us is, how do I receive my patterns and when does the pattern release? And this always comes out in the PDF. I know sometimes it's really easy to gloss over it, but this is where you'll find that kind of information. And then what we'll do is as the months go on, Ashley fills these in with the animal name that you'll be stitching that month. So for example, January 1st, it'll say really cute animal. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what you're going to be stitching January 1st, but these get filled in. So that way, if you ever miss a download and you're like, you know, I can't remember what did we stitch on March 1st, you'll find that information right here. And this just lets you know that you can use either email to get to your animal almanac chart. This is our page that we chat about things that you can and can't do with your frosted pumpkin stitchery pattern. For example, you can, if you want, get your pattern printed at Kinko's, a copy shop, a library. You can't share your pattern with your friend. And you can't sell your pattern to somebody else. All right. Then we have, this is this new really beautiful thick cardstock and it's a little bit tricky because I just pulled it out of the printer. All right, and now we have the stitch guide. So the stitch guide is just a helpful thing that we include in every single frosted pumpkin stitchery pattern, and it just explains the general basics of how to cross stitch. And it's really handy if maybe you are wanting to stitch on linen for the first time and you've mainly only stitched on Ada or vice versa. And we show little examples. Ashley's designed some really sweet graphics that show back stitching, uh, half stitching, full stitching. We try to provide a lot of information within our PDFs for you. On this page, you'll also find the finished pattern size and the information about the fabric that we've used. We also start all of our stitch alongs in the center of our fabric. And I'll get to an example of that in a minute, but that's just a friendly reminder that you're going to start in the center of your fabric. And then we have this very important thing, which is your supply list. This is awesome. So this is all of the colors that you'll be using to stitch up Animal Almanac. And we also, again, show you the fabric count, color, size, everything. And then if you click through the PDF, you'll be able to go to a link directly on our website to purchase the pattern, or excuse me, the supplies. The other thing that's really nice is this year, Kate at The Homemakery will be carrying kits for Animal Almanac for all of our UK and European stitchers. The perk of buying from Kate is that you don't have to pay the shipping fee from the US to Europe or um, England. The problem is, is when I ship you something, you will get a customs fee. Whereas if you order from Kate directly, you don't have to worry about that, which is amazing. So this is what you would get in your introductory PDF. That's it. Easy peasy. It has all the information that you need for Animal Almanac. Now, on January 1st, you're going to receive an email from us and it's going to include your very first chart because stitching starts on January 1st. Now, in our video today, I'm not going to show you the January 1st chart because spoilers and it's not January 1st. <laughs> so what I am going to show you is an example of our 2019 stitch along Welcome to Pumpkinville. So Ashley puts the entire chart all on one page so you have an idea of what it's going to look like. Now you wouldn't necessarily want to stitch from this page because this is very tiny. This is great though if you wanted to zoom on a, uh, an iPad or other device. This just gives you an idea of the layout and how the pattern is going to look. So 
you can see for January, we gave our stitchers the Welcome to Pumpkinville banner, this little border, and then the first chart. Now, why did we give this first? Because this is the, this is the center of the fabric. We'll always give you an anchor point, so that way you can start stitching in the very center of your fabric. Does that make sense? I hope so. So, the next page is what we refer to as one of the expanded views of the chart. So you can see this is a little bit easier to stitch from. And what Ashley does is we have this little uh, fold along the dash line. You can either um, cut or fold. And what it would go with is this next one. So you would overlap these together and you would have the entire chart in this much bigger and beautiful expanded format. Just wanna make sure I'm getting it all on here. Yeah, that looks great. So as the month goes on, let's say you're unsure if Animal Almanac is for you because mysteries, they kind of stress you out. I completely understand that. So, for example, let's say you decide you see March's animal and you think, oh, I'm in. Okay, this is a chart I want to stitch. When you download your chart in March, you'll receive all the information that is within this introductory PDF along with all of the charts. So, if you're starting in March, you would have... January, February, March, all filled in. And then starting April 1st, you would receive the monthly installments. And what we do is we fill in the chart as we go. So what I mean by that is you start with just one little thing and then each month you build onto it. Now, as we've mentioned in our chatting about Animal Almanac, it's set up differently than Welcome to Pumpkinville. Welcome to Pumpkinville had three blocks across. Animal Almanac only has two, so the charts are going to be formatted differently, but the principle remains the same. You're going to start in the center of your fabric, we'll be moving upwards, and then we'll be filling in month by month. And it doesn't matter when you join the club or when you want to start stitching. As long as you have a download link, you'll always have the most current, up-to-date version of the chart. And we put all of the charts in one single file. So you don't have to download a special chart for January, a special chart for February, a special chart for March. It's all always in one file with the previous months filled in. So for Welcome to Pumpkinville, we did something a little bit differently where we had the chart all on one page. And we got some feedback on this that people really liked it. I am cannot share at this time how Animal Almanac is laid out because Ashley is still currently working on the first January chart and our pattern proofing team is tech editing it. And there might be some changes between now and when the first chart goes out. But you can rest assured that it will be easy to print, easy to read, easy to stitch from. So I hope that helps with this little guide to what Animal Almanac is all about and how cute it is. And you can tell we put a lot of love and care into our pattern. So that is everything for our Animal Almanac. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email. I'm happy to help. Or you could leave a question in the comments and I can help you there as well. Okay, let's get back to it. Okay, now you've seen what the PDF looks like. So let's talk about the supplies because the supplies are one of the best parts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this year we had so much feedback from everybody who loved the bright, bold colors of Pumpkinville. So we are going to do a really bold palette of these DMC colors and I love them. They're super rich and just delicious. Mm -hmm. Love these ones. <laughs> and then we also are using two skeins of sparkle floss from uh, DMC and both Ashley that's yes. you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Christy have both said that they're really easy to stitch with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're very soft. They're not stiff at all like other, or some metallic threads. Um, and they just add a little bit of a, a subtle amount of sparkle to the pattern. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And I, I love the ones that we picked. We picked a dark gray and a light gray. Mm -hmm. And now the really fun part would be the fabric. So we are using fabric from Picture This Plus. The fabric measures 12 by 27, so when I hold this up, you're going to totally see what I mean by a vintage wall hanging mm -hmm. or a tea towel. 
Don't you totally get that vibe? I absolutely love this size. It's so good. Marilyn did a beautiful job dyeing this. The color is called Heartland. It's stunning. One pro tip we have from Marilyn that we can share with you today is when you get your fabric, mainly it's the cashel, you're going to want to stretch it. <laughs> stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. And what it does is this stretches out the fibers that have shrunk um, during the dyeing process. And this is awesome. So we will, as I mentioned in my walkthrough of the PDF, we'll be starting in the center of the fabric and then working our way up. So you don't have to worry about how you're going to start the project. We got it all mapped out for you because 10 years in, this is not our first rodeo. <laughs> It's our 10th one. <laughs> it's our 10th one. <laughs> it's our 10th rodeo. So on Black Friday, we will have full kits available along with a fabric only option. And the fabric only option contains the fabric and the PDF. The full kit contains all 21 skeins of DMC floss, a packet of Bowen tapestry needles, the two skeins of sparkle floss, and the fabric. And as you could see when I held the fabric up earlier, all four sides, well, technically three because one is the selvage side, three sides are surged so you don't have to worry about your fabric unraveling throughout the year. That's Which my... happens, especially since you're pulling it out one or multiple times throughout the year. Right, so it's right. very easy to unravel. Yes, so that is, that's my favorite part. So we will have 28 count um, cashel and 14. 14 count. Yep. Thank you. 14 count Ada available. Hey friends, so at this point during the video, a very large amount of trucks drove by incredibly loudly and I cannot for the life of me change the volume so that way you don't hear them, but you do hear Ashley and I. I'm so sorry about that. So I'm going to input a little clip right now, which you're watching, because I don't want you guys to miss out on this part because this part's really important. We're talking about our kids and one amazing thing is that Kate from thehomemakery.com. She is located in England. She has the kits for Animal Almanac available, which is amazing because if you live in the UK or if you live in Europe, you can order from Kate and she can ship it to you. And you would likely receive your package way faster than if you were to order it from Ashley and I. And I'm not 100% sure how it works. For example, if you live in Germany and you order from Kate in the UK, if you would still have to pay a customs fee, but I know that a lot of our European customers have to pay customs fees when we ship them things from California. So Kate is an excellent option. She has the picture of this plus fabric. She has the DMC. She's got the kits. She's ready to go. It's amazing because sometimes the fabric takes a little bit longer to get to her. And to be completely honest, sometimes I don't give her enough time to get the fabric in time for her club. But this time, everything has been going so perfectly to plan. One thing that you'll know that's a little bit different and this goes not just for our European customers, but also for probably our people all over the world, excluding the U.S., is that one of the DMC colors is different outside of the U.S. And we heard this from Kate and also Belinda, our tech editor, who lives in Australia. So in our chart, in our kit, we are using DMC 504, but there is no such number if you live overseas. It is DMC 3813. So our kits contain 504. The kits from or the kits from Kate will contain 3813. And if you are down under or maybe just on the other side of the world, you're gonna also look for that other number. Don't worry, it's all in the PDF too. Okay, I'm sorry that I had to change things up on you guys, but it was important information and I didn't want you to miss it because a lot of trucks. <laughs> We will also have a brand new needle minder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love this one. Do you want to talk about the inspiration for it or what it looks like? I wanted it to be like a badge. Of, you could almost actually probably wear it. I wear it. Yeah, I probably will once we, yes. <laughs> once we get them. Yeah. Um, but it takes little elements that might be scattered throughout the pattern. And yeah, it's just cute. It's round also like the little animals patterns each month. Um, yeah, just cutesy and... It is super cute. And I like that it says 2020 club member. Yes. Yes. So you can wear your flair all year long and let people know, I'm a 2020 club You're member. A member. Yep. I'm a member. I'm, I'm into this.
A lot of the things that I really, really love about this pattern are how many details you were able to put in a smaller space. Yeah, I tried to cram in you, as many as I could. You totally did. So one of the things about Pumpkinville is there are little borders. Um, for example, a bookworms, pencils, snowflakes, cupcakes, um, music notes. Music notes. Mm -hmm. So on this one, where the monthly number is, there's going to be a little motif on each side of the number that corresponds and matches the theme of that month. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. That's one of my favorite little elements. It's super cute. So that is our 2020 sampler. I'm really excited. It's fun to do animals. Mm -hmm. It's fun to do animals in outfits. Um, as a little kid, I played with calico critters. I'm sure some of you out there mm -hmm. are like, aha. Yep. We both play the video game Pocket Camp yep. from Nintendo. This isn't a Pocket Camp or a calico critters themed pattern by any means, because as you guys know, we don't do anything that's like copyright or pop culture or anything like that. But we wanted to basically take all the little fun elements from the past 10 years of designing and bring them into one really special chart. Mm -hmm. And I'm super excited, especially because it's fun to think of the backstory that all these little animals have. Yes. Just like when you think of the backstory of the actual story book ones that we did, mm -hmm. Happily Ever After, Once yeah. Upon a Time, Story Time, these little animals have a story too. Mm -hmm. And they're just sharing with you the very favorite part of the season. Yeah. It's cute. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cute. I hope you'll join us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We, uh, yeah, I can't even because it's, it's good. Yes. I, I will share a sneak peek for mm -hmm. you guys at the very end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will join us. We are really excited for this year. If you have any questions, drop us a question below or send us an email and set a timer because I have a feeling that this is going to be a popular one. Mm -hmm. I hope. I hope you I guys hope love so. this as much as we do. Yeah. But I have a feeling once you see the sneak peek, you're going to be like, ah, I got to stitch that. Okay. All right. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye.